Eddie Ray Ralph never denied killing American sniper Chris Kyle and his friend Chad Littlefield. He said he was insane at the time and didn't know right from wrong. It took a jury less than three hours to dismiss that claim. We, the jury, find the defendant Eddie Ray Ralph guilty of the felony offense of capital murder as charged in the indictment. That verdict is signed. The prosecutor hadn't asked for the death penalty. Ralph sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. Kyle and Littlefield had taken the ex-Marine to the shooting range to help him over his own post-traumatic stress. Kyle was regarded as a military legend, acclaimed America's most deadly sniper. At the time of his death, work was just beginning on turning his book into what's become the highest grossing war movie in American history. Hold on, I got a woman and a kid 200 yards out. Bradley Cooper's performance as Kyle earning him an Oscar nomination. But the court heard the real life story from, among others, his widow Taya, of how two family men were gunned down in cold blood. It was Ralph's own sister who'd called the police that day. He's now arrested. He told me that he's committed a murder. Okay, uh, hold on. And I'm, I'm terrified for my life. I'm going to have to get out of here. The court saw video of the police chase which followed and led to Ralph's arrest. He said he killed the two men because he feared for his own life. He also said he was annoyed they'd ignored him. Kyle had texted Littlefield that Ralph was straight up nuts. We've waited two years for God to, to get justice for us on behalf of our son. And as always, God has proved to be faithful. And we're so thrilled that that we have the verdict that we have tonight. A man who survived four tours of Iraq, the prosecutor said, came home unscathed and died face down in the dirt at a luxury shooting range. We now know his killer will never walk free. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.